Hello everyone, welcome to my channel MJ's Innovation. Today I am at Indian Institute of Science that is in Bangalore. The reason why I am here because today is open day of the institute that happens every once in a year and they conduct live experiments and demonstration. So let's start. Hello everyone, it's MJ here and today we are at Indian Institute of Science. With me, I have my friend. Hi. Uh, so this is my friend PK here. So what we are doing here, bro, today? Uh, today in uh, Tata Institute, we are, uh, we are visited because of open day. Uh, it is a day, it is the only day in a year where uh, public, all general people, students, any guys are allowed to institute. So, okay. And all the departments organize different kind of a science experiment, demos, lectures, we can visit. It is really good. Okay, right now we, we are just behind the mechanical engineering block. Engineering. So let's go and we'll check out what we have today. Okay. See, this is a rotating fluid. Okay. This is a stagnant fluid. What I'm going to do, I'm just yeah. perturbing it, okay? okay? Perturbing means just in a small velocity or what is it? And then in here. Ink. Ink. Yeah. So this is a die. So how, see how it works. Is. The motion are completely 3D. It yeah. mixes in all directions and all kinds of chaos is there. Okay. But if I mix, same perturbation I gave here. Okay. Now you can see the pillars, no? Right? It's not going in all directions. It is just staying there. And so something is stabilizing it. Depends on what. Okay. So, this says, I mean, this fluid, you have heard of Korean fluid. Yeah. But yeah, that is the fluid that is stabilizing this kind of, uh, this making scalar columns in a rotating system. So, this scalar stay at a distance, otherwise you will be wet. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Everything you can fly, this is very water. But it won't go straight if it is not conical in the top. Because of the drag of the air, it will start wobbling up. So anywhere it can land, this side, this side, this side. Okay. <laughs> So as you guys can see after those uh, experiments, now we are going to electrical engineering department. So let's see what we'll get to see here. So uh, this is how technology has evolved through time and uh, sizes. So you can see here capacitors, different sizes, inductors, different sizes. Uh, these are DC-DC converters, flyback and forward. The sizes, and see this is a commercial package of this small size. There's one more thing, the resistors which we have often used in uh, general purpose board are through hole resistors. But imagine the size they have reduced to, it is this. Okay, these are called surface mount devices. So how are they used this? They are soldered like this. This is the surface mount devices. The advantage is, you can populate both sides of the board with these devices. Okay, through hole you can populate only one side of the board. So this is a one kilowatt bulb. These are vacuum tubes which you have probably only read in books but you have never seen. These are uh, MOSFET IGBTs diodes. These two are very special because they are old and they are no longer available. This is a diode and this is a BJT. Yeah. Uh, this is a commercial inverter that has been made by seniors in ISC. Uh, it's a 20 kV inverter, very small size, very high power density and these are the cards, current sensor cards, these are current sensors, uh, this is the protection card, this is the annunciation card and these are the great drive cards. Uh, annunciation card? Basically this is the induction motor we are trying to demonstrate to you, we have the rotating flux inside our induction motor. So, uh, here we made a installation motor, we won't have a board there, that's why we have no bad magnetizing current and flux will be not that much of concentrated that in our actual induction. So, now we start the demonstration. 
mark that time will place the both the coil at the same position so see that there will be no phase difference between the both the coils assume that this is a stator coil flux some coils are going together if it sees flux same position it will show no no uh, phase difference between these two uh, wave pumps okay there are peaks and there are zero percent at the same point if you move it especially say by 60 degree then electrically also uh, now you can observe that if we move 60 degree here and we also found that the wave wave pump also shifted by the 60 degree mm -hmm. so flux is also rotating flux, flux is also rotating yes. So guys you can see we are just front of the main building of the ISC department and yeah you can just check it out the building and this building was built in 1911 so it's a uh, very old Hey bro where we are now We are at computational and data sciences department and what we are doing here uh, actually we are going to see the India's fastest, fastest supercomputer so are you excited about that Really? Okay. Really okay, we'll go and check out what we'll see. First generation hard disk, which is uh, introduced in 1973. Okay. And uh, what is the maximum capacity we are using right now? Maximum? Yeah. Maximum. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, only 150 MB of capacity. Yeah. So only 150 MB of capacity, which is around 130 to 140 user. Uh, like user. Uh, this is the inner part of the hard disk what we are using currently the new generation. This is the magnetic surface, the both the side is the magnetic disk and this is the head part which is used for read and write the data. Right? How, how small it is? So very compact. Yeah, very it's a compact. And you can see in this, this is the magnetic disk. A single surface, only a single side it will read and write the data. This is the head part. This is the head part. You can check probably. 
Around it is uh, 17 to 18 kg. So full setup will be like 17 to 18 kg. Can you just call me? I guess 150 MB.